Hi, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're having a really, really nice day. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Cancer sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. And again, uh, this week is a big event in the Northern Hemisphere. It's the winter solstice. And so, you know, the seasons are always changing. Okay, so in terms of awareness, we have the Seven of Cups and we have the Hanged Man, Major Arcana. So the Seven of Cups, we see the man here looking at all of the options, all of the unique and amazing items that are in each cup. And so look at his hands. He's just like saying, maybe he's saying to himself, wow, what if I went with the serpent? What if I went over here and chose this cup? It can be tantalizing. It can be exciting to daydream, to fantasize. It can also stimulate future dreams of yours that perhaps spur you on to do something. So you know, there's the thought here that sometimes daydreaming and visualizing is not a bad thing. It's, uh, it can relieve stress. It can take you out of a doldrum perhaps, and it's to consider the opportunities, to consider the possibilities. You may have a lot of possibilities here. You may have a lot of options that you are trying to work through. The thing to think about is that sometimes when we have so many options, it can lead to a little bit of disorganization. We may not know where to go. It may be overwhelming and it may cause like paralysis by analysis, which is you've got so much before you. So the thing to think about for the week is to take the pleasure of fantasizing and daydreaming and then from there, narrow it down pick a cup that's going to help you at least move forward maybe into making it a reality. If you sit around all day, hanging out, doing nothing but sleeping and daydreaming and hoping, you know, that's different than having the inspiration to visualize the possibilities. So narrow things down and maybe pursue one cup. And then when you satisfy that, you can go back and get another one. So then we have the hanged man and we see the hanged man here turned upside down, hanging from the branch. So he's not going anywhere in this position and he's probably making the best of what's happened right now. And so what does this show us and tell us? It's a matter of suspension. It's a matter of taking pause. It's a, you know, kind of accepting the circumstances for now and being okay with that. What does that translate to? For some of you, maybe you're having to sacrifice something within your life, maybe uh, extra time or your own pursuit of, ha you know, your own pursuit of a passion in order to um, take care of your family. And sometimes we have to do that. This is about, it can be about sacrifice, and it can be just taking a pause here from uh, what's happening within your life. And so perhaps, you know, with all of these options, you're just kind of, you're just kind of hanging there. You're not really going to make a decision just yet. The other thing to think about with the hanged man is it goes to your perspective is that when we're standing on our two feet, we see things in a certain way, but once you flip us upside down, we see things very differently. And so it's about your perspective. And so you may need to consider a different perspective, a new way of thinking, a new approach as you look at options for the week, as you consider how you're going to move forward. And perhaps it goes to a new perspective or a new way of thinking about your hopes and your dreams. In terms of guidance, we see the Eight of Wands. Going to be a busy week for you. You have a lot on your plate. 
and you may feel that you have a lot of obligations to meet. There are projects, people, emails to return, calls to make, social plans. You get a sense of movement here. This is swift movement, often relates to news or communication. So maybe someone's trying to get in touch with you. Maybe over the holidays, they, you know, old friends want to visit or touch base with you or get to get together. You may have to respond quickly. You may have to make a decision that's quick. These eight of wands go to communication and communication coming through and how you have to pay attention to how you get back to people. And it also could certainly relate to projects, which is, you know, we always have something cooking. We have new projects that begin. We have projects that end and it's a never ending cycle. And so perhaps you're making the move here with respect to one of these options in starting a new project, starting a new endeavor. With this eight of wands, we have the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is a card of, of giving when you are feeling abundant yourself when you're feeling in a position to be able to help. And it's not just financially, it's abundance of love and of caring and consideration. And that can be shown in so many different ways, which is to help someone out who needs maybe help getting to a doctor's appointment of working in a soup kitchen or, you know, helping people, the homeless or something. There's so many ways to be of service with the six of pentacles. It's the duality of giving and receiving. We see people here receiving the support. So whether you are in need of some support at this time of year, then ask for it. More often than not, there are people who want to help. For those that are in a position to be able to help and to donate and to do whatever they can do to be of assistance, it's certainly rewarding. And, you know, when it comes from the heart, it's a wonderful, positive transfer of energy to be able to give to someone else. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes, interesting, we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Five of Pentacles. So the Nine of Wands is really about you know, it's about this uh, warrior here who's very strong, standing ready, holding the wand ready for whatever comes. He's looking off in the direction. He hasn't quit. He hasn't walked away. There's a strong sense of determination here, of grit, of tenacity, of resilience. You may have to protect yourself. You may have to defend your ideas, your actions, or someone that you love this week. And... Um, you know, there's, this shows, this shows a, a big heart, I think, of standing, even when you may be tired, you may be exhausted, you may want to just quit a situation, but this is like, I'm going to see things through. I'm ready for whatever may come. So whatever may come in terms of options and point of view, and in terms of possible outcomes, we have the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is, you know, it's interesting. The five comes before the six here and the five of pentacles, we see the hard luck, uh, men here walking down the steps away from the beautiful building and the structure of the temple. Sometimes when we are having a struggle or a hard time, we don't notice that help is around the corner. We don't see it because we're very, um, very much in our own world of what's happening. The good news about the five of pentacles, while some of you may be tired or stressed out, not feeling a hundred percent or facing some other adversity with respect to finances or something that is really troubling you, that there is light behind that window and that there is support out there. You can get past this. Um, you know, this isn't a lifelong affliction. This is something that is a part of what we go through. We go through the challenges where we're either not feeling well, we're stressed out or we're stressed out by external reasons, finances, family pressures, you know, you name it. And you may feel as if you're left out in the cold. You may feel as if nobody is there for you. 
But if you stand up tall and if you turn around and if you look, go walk back up to this temple, you may get the help that you need. So very interesting. Let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week. Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So we see, looks like Merlin here, the wizard who's out there with the stars and the moon, and it is a wondrous universe. And sometimes I think with the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles and uh, the hanged man, it's a sense of trusting that the universe has a grand design and that everybody has their own part in this story. And so uh, listening to the messages and allowing it to play out is part of the journey and the wondrous universe. It is wondrous. And finally, let's choose an oracle card for love. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Like attracts like, one of the most powerful uh, concepts and ideas that there is, which is um, be real to who you are. Let your light shine. And that light is going to be picked up by others who are on the same uh, vibrational frequency. Like attracts like. And I highly recommend that you read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. There's a lot to be said about that in that book. So friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.